We've broken down the final project into three different sections to help simplify the process for you. The first step we did was to draw the majority of our line work here. Open that up if you've closed it. Right now we have the exterior walls and the interior walls, the movie screen, and some hatching drawn in here. Now we need to add the doors, the windows, some chairs, and some plants around the outside. So let's set the door layer as current. It's A-Doors, it's yellow. We want to insert our door block that we added in an earlier chapter. So use the insert command, find Door Imperial. Click OK. And we're going to put a door here, here, two doors here, and then two doors here as well. Then one over on the other side. So we may have to flip some things around to get them to work the way we want, but that's okay. Because remember, this is a dynamic block. So let's select it, stretch it out, and let's flip it over. Let's adjust it to the end. And if it's not quite right, you can use the rotate command. Pick this point and rotate it minus 90 degrees in this case. Door doesn't quite fit all the way for this size wall, but that's okay for what we're doing. So we have this one set up. Let's just copy it. Select your base point here, and we're going to put it in right here. And it's the proper width. So continue with the copy command. Pick your block, let's put one here, put one there, and again, one here, and one on the other side. Now we have our blocks in everywhere they need to be. We can flip our doors, we can move it to the right spot. And now we need to change the widths. Let's go three foot on these double doors. Those are in. Let's do the same thing here. Rotate anything that needs to be rotated. This is minus 90. Flip them around. Move it to where it needs to go. And we'll change the width to three feet. Those doors are set. That door's set. Okay, we're good. Let's save our file. And now let's put in the windows. Pick the A windows layer, start the insert command again, and let's find our windows. Click OK. We're going to put one here. My O snaps are doing crazy things. I don't like the way they're running. So let's turn them on. I'm going to select everything, turn off the nearest and the parallel, click OK. Remember, you can set those at any time. But now I have to restart my insert command with my window. Put it in the middle. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. And it's at the proper width. It's not quite where I want it though. I want it right in the middle of the wall. There we go. Now we can use the copy command, pick
pick a point, and let's put in some more windows. That one's good. That one's good. And so is that one. All right. We did forget a door. We forgot to put one here. That's okay. We can go back, start the copy command, grab the door, and insert it. We grabbed it from the wrong spot, as you saw. That's okay. We'll just move it again. Double check everything else is good. All right, now we need to put in some chairs. So we want to be on the chair layer. So let's set that to current. And let's insert our chair. I don't like the way this is going to come in. I want the back of the chair to be on the left side. So we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. Click OK. And we're going to put it in right here. Simple enough. Now let's use the array command because I want to put in a whole bunch of chairs. I'm going to select this chair right here, press enter, and I want to have five columns and I want to have five rows. Now we want the total between the chairs to be four foot columns by four foot rows. So I'm going to type in five foot columns, four foot rows. That's too big for our room, as we can see as we're working on the design. So let's shrink this down to four feet, and we'll shrink the distance between them to three feet. It's nice and tight, but it'll work. And that's why you use the array command, because it's very easy to make those adjustments on the fly. Let's close that. We're going to move these. Since this is an array, we can center it. Well, how are we going to center this in the room? I'll show you a little drafting trick. Let's draw a line, and we'll go from one corner of the room to the other. Snap to that endpoint. Snap to this endpoint. Now, the middle point of this line is the middle of the room. So if we use the move command on this array, press enter, and if we grab the middle of the back of this chair, and we move it to the middle of the line, they're pretty much centered. Back them up just a little bit. Grab the midpoint of this, and we're going to put it on the midpoint of this line here. There we go. And that's what's cool about the associated rays, because it works together as one unit. Almost finished with this part. See, we've created this drawing from nothing. And now we have line work for our walls, our windows, doors, and the chairs. Let's do some landscaping around the outside. Let's add our plants. Remember that plant that we made? Well, let's put it on plant layer. Make that one current. And let's insert a plant. We made the plant big leaf. Click open. And let's just put some here and there. Now that we have one in, we can copy it. Grab it from the center of that circle. Turn off your ortho command. And we'll just put some in various places. Something that would look nice around the building. Don't block the doors or else people can't get in. So we'll move this one. Put it over here, and there you go. And there's your drawing. All that's left now is to annotate it.